What's up, everybody? I'm going to get started. OK, so in this one, um, what we're going to look at is you have the secant of x over cosine of x. Now, um, the main important thing, guys, is next, next class period, we'll actually practice some of these. And what I'll do is when we practice this, I'm going to relate them to algebraic, um, algebraic processes. So again, we have a couple, like one thing we know for secant is we can rewrite this as 1 over cosine of x over cosine of x, right? Now, the trick that a lot of students get troubled in is they always want to convert everything. They always want to say, well, i got to convert cosine to 1 over secant. But again, guys, there's no rule that you have to, every, every single time you see a function, you have to convert it. Some of them you might want to. Some of them you don't want to. So what you have to do, what's the hard part about this, is you've got to be able to kind of look ahead when you're doing these problems and think about what is it you want to achieve. Do I really want a fraction over a fraction? No, I don't want a fraction over a fraction. I like 1 over cosine is fine. Or 1 over cosine divided by cosine is fine. Now, what mathematically I'm going to do might be easier to think about this in terms of numbers. If I had 1 third divided by 3, and I thought, well, how am I going to do that? Or how would I simplify that? What I'd like to do is multiply by the reciprocal, which is 1 third from the top and the bottom. Hi. Hello. This? Okay, are you giving us a packet or anything? Yes. Can I have it? Yeah, go back. Right. <laughs> All right. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> but you guys would agree with me that if you multiply by, nope, it's okay. If you multiply by the reciprocal on the top and bottom, that's going to simplify, right? Yes, would you guys agree? Math, math, like with numbers, that works. So, guys, what's the reciprocal of cosine? Now, you could write it, well, what's the, no. What's the reciprocal of cosine? Secant. Now, you could write this as secant, or it might just be easier to use the, write it like this. And then, so what do we get? We get 1 over secant squared of x. I'm sorry, cosine squared of x, right? You're welcome. Have a good break. So we get 1 over cosine squared of x, which is really what? Secant squared. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's in the video. 